governor's mansion is grand, elegant, and drafty as a barn. The 10,000 square foot Tudor was donated to the state in 1988 and renamed after the Oregon grape, Mahonia. When Mahonia Hall was built back in 1924, it was constructed with the latest building materials and techniques. But nowadays, from a building performance perspective, Mahonia Hall needs some help. So a while back, the governor's office decided to make this mansion a little bit more sustainable. And they did that by contacting Energy Trust of Oregon. We start by shining a little light on the issue. We're changing out the incandescent lighting in the home to LED lighting, which can function and look just the same, but save a tremendous amount of energy. The new generation of LEDs are vastly superior to the first generation that came out back in the 1970s. These are dimmable. We're over 100 light bulbs that we're gonna be installing by the time we're all done. The second item on the home performance checklist is air sealing and insulation. Here, Jorge is addressing a common trouble spot for many homes, the space on the exterior wall between the basement and the main floor. It can create what's called the stack effect. The, the basement acts as, as the suction part. It's bringing um, the, uh, the cold air in and exhausting the warm air out um, through the attic spaces. So uh, we'll be taking a look at, at both those areas to see how we can cut down on that uh, stack effect. Time to turn our attention to the windows. Yes, they are inefficient, but no contractor in his or her right mind would ruin the historical significance of this building by replacing them. In this case, we have an alternative called Indo Windows. These beautiful windows are nice, but they're leaky and they let through a lot of drafts, which causes you to be really uncomfortable. So we completely seal out those. So we're very comparable to a replacement window in terms of energy savings, but we let you keep your existing windows and you just get all the energy savings, but a lot less expensive. Sam Pardue says that over time, more than 90% of these windows have gone out of square. By using precise laser measurements, he will custom match each Indo window to each existing window frame. Here, Miguel is going through the process of installing each individual Indo window. It makes you wonder, how did the Neil Kelly crew know which improvements to make? Generally, we come in and we perform a, um, a thorough audit of the building. Uh, we do diagnostic testing and visual inspections of the different areas. Uh, to determine kind of the biggest bang for your buck or the biggest bang for your comfort. In this case, Energy Trust of Oregon identified potential savings and did a cost analysis of potential improvements. Combine all these energy saving products and techniques together and this governor and future governor's family should be a lot more comfortable. Nice thing about energy efficiency, it saves resources and money now and every year in the future.